uh, some of Indiana's top educators together in one room today to talk school safety and security. Ideas and topics tossed around today come on the heels of tragic school shootings in the United States. So as Indiana lawmakers decide what to do, education leaders meant to hash out some real tangible solutions. Our State House Bureau Chief David Williams live in the newsroom now to explain. David. Well, Brooke and Phil, at the core of today's roundtable was the state's School Safety Specialist Academy. The state superintendent of schools tells me today state law does not require a mandate at all Indiana schools attend, but she wants to change state law. My fear is I've been in some schools where we'll talk to kids or talk to educators like we don't run drills. Well, that's very concerning if something happens and you've not practiced it. Which is why state superintendent Dr. Jennifer McCormick wants all Indiana schools to be part of Indiana's School Safety Training Academy. That and school safety were some of the main points of today's State House conversation with Congresswoman Susan Brooks and others. I would strongly encourage them because this is free training for them. Start Started in 1999, Indiana's School Safety Training Academy gives educators hands-on training in things like emergency preparedness and school security. I'd really like to try to take the lessons they've learned, the type of training that they've provided, and possibly expand that as a model in the country. Right now, McCormick says by law, only public schools are required to attend. McCormick met with state lawmakers today to talk about the program. Making sure we're running drills and participating in the school safety Academy and having a school safety specialist on campus. All those items are free per se. I know time is not free and I know you have to hire those folks to do it, but we're not talking a lot of additional dollars. So for schools in the program, where's the money going to come from? They need people. So school resource officers who are trained or law enforcement, that's a big conversation right now. Also the conversation about equipment, whether it's panic buttons or cameras or anything, get the app, apps for different safety measures. She says money is there somewhere. A lot of those can be quite pricey and so for some of our districts that uh, are struggling financially it can be a real struggle but that's where the grants and being aggressive to say you know what we're going to go after every bit of the money that we can from the federal level and certainly from the state. So Brooks says Indiana schools are focusing on mental health training and resources in schools, but she is surprised by Indiana's youth suicide rate. McCormick says they're working hard to address those things, too. Lawmakers tried to get some school safety bills passed in that session that just ended. Dr. McCormick also says this conversation about school safety is going to have to go into next session. I'm David Williams, live in the newsroom, 24-hour news 8.